What's up WordPress nerds? In today's video, I'm gonna be going over how you can set up custom user capabilities in WordPress so that you can display or hide content depending on who you want looking at it. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. All right, let's jump into it. All right, let's imagine a scenario here real quick where I am a business owner. I run a small auto repair shop and I manage all my vehicles in WordPress. So I have a custom post type of vehicles. I have all the vehicles that I'm working on currently and I just have the make, the model, the price that I'm charging, which is outrageous. And then um, the assigned, te assigned technician to the um, vehicle. So I'm gonna be hiring a technician and I need to be able to give him login information that is not going to give him access to everything else that's going on in the site. We only want him to be able to manage his profile and the vehicles. Everything else is off limits. On top of that, we wanna be able to go to the front end of my site and I want him to be able to kind of see the waiting list and get some additional information. I wanna see, I want him to be able to see which one he's assigned to versus which one I'm assigned to. So what we're gonna be doing on top of that is we're going to have um, the information only um, visible to the people who need it. So what we want is, well, I have a very bad practice of displaying how much I'm charging my customers per instance on my, the front end of my site. So I'm gonna only show that to logged in users that have um, special permissions, as well as we're going to display the uh, assigned technician as well. So let's jump right into the code. So first things first is we have this custom post type of vehicles and it's a pretty typical um, uh, set of uh, arguments here. However, we have this one here that in particular called capability type and we've named it vehicle or we've given it the value of vehicle. And what this does is this actually creates all the keys that um, we can um, add to users so they can interact with our custom post type. So they can edit it, they can delete it, they can publish it, whatever, um, things like that. So what we wanna do is make sure that this is inserted into the custom post type that we wanna work with. So I'm gonna minimize that and I'm actually going to just add a new action on init so that way we're not scrolling through custom post type stuff as I'm showing you the code. So we're gonna have a knit function and then we're going to just have an anonymous function here. And the first thing that we wanna do is add a role. And so that role has three um, things you can pass. The first is gonna be the key technician and then the display name, what it looks like. And then right here we have capabilities. We're gonna leave that blank for now. Um, we're gonna add our capabilities down below. So the way that I like to do this is the first thing is that you have to get the, get the role of technician. And then what you have to do next is you have to give it the bare minimum access so they can uh, um, get into the WordPress backend. So this is this, the same amount of uh, um, capabilities that a subscriber would get. They just can log in and let me show you here. So dashboard and we're going to create a new user that has the role of technician, and we can see what that would look like when they just have read. So tech at example.com, tech confirm weak password, technician, add that, and then we're gonna log out of my admin account. And so all we can do is we can just change our email, we can just look at our dashboard and profile and that's it. Um, so what we wanna do next is we want to be able to edit uh, vehicles and edit others' vehicles. So we have the plural and singular versions of edit vehicle and edit others' vehicles. And that way we can actually view the same things that we were looking at when we were logged in as an admin. So if I refresh this, couple times now we have vehicles here and we can click into vehicles and we can actually click into them as the technician so that's exactly what we want we have no other access to anything else 
And all we did was just add a couple lines to um, of uh, add capabilities to um, our technician role. Um, we had to have that coupled with the fact that we have the capability type of vehicle here, just to, as a reminder. So what that's actually fantastic, right? We're kind of like halfway there at this point. So being able to have custom ones here is awesome. Uh, next is that we don't want to show the price we're charging to the public. We only want that to show up if I am logged in as an administrator. Um, I don't even want my technician to, to see that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do, um, if current user can, and then you can type in a capability here or you can type in a user role. So I'm gonna say administrator. So if I'm an administrator, did I spell that right? I guess I did. Um, if I'm an administrator, I wanna see the price that I'm charging, but I don't want anybody else to see it. Um, and then we're gonna do the same thing for this key up here on this table. And so when I go back as the technician, I shouldn't see the price that's being charged here on the front end. I guess you can see it back here, but that's not the point of this. So now I don't see that, but if I were to log in as my uh, administrator account, I can see the price that I'm charging. Now, um, there was something else that we had here in the back end that I wanted to have both people see. I had the um, vehicles assigned technician here. I wanted, some, I wanted my technician to be able to just look at the front end of the site, see the waiting list and see which, one, which vehicle he's assigned to. Um, currently, he can't see that and neither can I. So let's change that. So if we visit the site, all I can see as the technician is just what's on the waiting list. And I have no idea if I'm supposed to be working on it or not. So what I can do is I can say, oh, let's, um, we wanna see if the technician is assigned. So let's just get that um, copied. Oh boy. So if the current um, user can technician, then we want them to see the, um, I think I called it tech. Let's go back. I think, um, couldn't remember what I named that. I just named it technician. Uh, if the current user is a technician, then we should be able to see which technician is assigned. And then I think that you, it's a display name. Let's try that. So if, let's go back to tech. Sorry, lots of bouncing back and forth. Yeah, and so I can see that Alex is assigned to both of those and me as the technician is not assigned to either one. Um, and so what we can do is, you know, if I were to say, I'm gonna take over the forerunner, I can say that the tech is assigned to that one. And then so now I know which one I'm supposed to be working on anytime that I visit the site as a logged in user. However, if we go back and just take a look at what the administrator sees, it still has not enough information. It can see the price that we're charging, but it can't see who's assigned to what. And technically what we can do is we can just kind of, you know, extend that and it's like, oh, if the current user can technician or current user can administrator, like we can do that, but there's a much better way to do it in my opinion, is that is creating just another capability type that is custom. So what we can do is we can create a new one um, and let's just do tech add cap and we're going to do um, view assigned tech. 
And that is a completely made up string that I just made up right now. And then we are going to, add, we added that to the technician. And let's do the same thing with the administrator. So get the administrator. And we want to add the um, view assign tech capability to him as well. So let's just change this to admin, change this to admin. And so now we have this new capability type that we can play with. So if the current user can um, view assigned tech, then it should be able to, uh, they should be able to view it. So let's uh, change that to current view, uh, user can view assigned technician and if current user can view assigned technician. We should be able to refresh this page. And since I'm logged into the admin, it should give me uh, both the price and the assigned technician. Whereas if I will go back to the technician, I should just see what I'm assigned to, but not the price of the vehicle. So as you can see, you can do a lot with uh, custom capabilities and manipulate the back end and manipulate the front end based on who's logged in at the moment. So this is something that I use quite often when I'm building like a web app because you're gonna need to have different users that have different, use, uh, different uh, like levels of access to certain content and things like that. And that's really where you can kind of take your site and make it much more than, you know, like a blog or, or just like a, a brochure site or something like that. So I hope you learned something um, as you watch this video. Um, I encourage you to dig deeper into capabilities and things like that. There's even more that you that we can do. Um, I'd like to thank my patrons. We hit our goal. And so the video, next video is going to be going up this week. Um, and that video is going to be for patrons only. So shout out to all of my patrons above. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for all the support. Um, like I said, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. But until then, um, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one.